Kelly remake. 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 So we're in the office, you can see the Super Bowl board. It's getting ready, it's getting close. That board has been sitting here since last year to play the Super Bowl. We just left it here. Um, season is heating up. Outside, we're in the office. Outside, upstairs, they got the Bago League going. Downstairs, Pool League. Yeah. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny got it rolling, don't Johnny's he? busy. Johnny's <laughs> he's busy. busy. And based on the number of Boards that are stacked up outside this room, we know we're in the heated part of the season. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. You look outside, folks, it's about three, four boards out there, guys. You know, know they got home games coming up, just leave their boards here. Um, that's a lot of trust. It's a lot of trust. Well, Johnny's good to us. Yeah, the people at Daly's Pub treat us like royalty. Uh, unbelievable. Um, like I said, we're in the office, I got keys to the office, keys to the door, so uh. Stack, without further ado, we got to do our shot. Oh, you know? oh my goodness. Right. That's right. I almost forgot. Man. We don't start a show without unless we do our, our lemon drop. People so. uh, they look forward to that. You got to hold it and up you, high. You got to hold it up high. And you, this, this is for you, big. I you appreciate a big weekend. What? We'll talk about <laughs> we'll that. We'll talk about it. We'll get into that. Cheers. Bottoms up. Ugh. <clears throat> Thank you, my friend. You are. Wow. Brittany knows how to make a don't say a lemon drop. Don't say your name. Stack, what's in that glass? I got a Guinness blind, folks. What do you think of a bar where you ask the owner to get you a beer? It took a while. Mm -hmm. Johnny got me a Shiner box. Shiner box. A Shiner Texas. Right. The keg is set up. It's only one problem. Only one drink in there, smoke stack. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had a few of them. We got to give a shout out to our boy John Martin for turning us on to the box. Absolutely. Great beer. For the next couple of weeks, every time I'm here, that's all I drink is shining bar. It's good stuff. And some shots. And some shots. <laughs> got to do the shot. Cheers. Box. Cheers. Folks, we're going to get you caught up as we do with the Stack with Nash show. Take it for a whiz around the world of sports. Stack, I got a big play here. We're going to keep this show moving. You know, people got busy lives. And we'll do the news, your, our news, and then we'll right. take a little break. People don't want to look at our uh, our mugs all day. Right. The world of sports got the NBA What's playoffs. The, the, the first round has started. Some pretty good matchups. I guess all the I think all the favorites is going to win. Some good back and forth games. Did you see Griffin slam dunk over? Oh my God. He kept dunking on my. You know, that's my <laughs> both my teams. And I'm a Spurs fan and a Celtics fan. I think that guy, what was that guy? Bane. Bane. That's who he kept dunking on. Bane. I think he dunked on like three or four times. It was crazy. Well, he, he plays for... Um, the Spurs. Bane plays for the Spurs. Uh, Blake, Blake's for the Clippers. Clippers so, okay. That's a tough series. But that's going on for the NBA playoffs. We got the NHL hockey playoffs going. Um, a couple weeks ago, a week, I don't know if it was a week ago or two weeks, we had the Masters. Right. Tiger looked good. He, but he, was, he wasn't good enough. The Another young, young phenom. The young buck, Jordan Spieth. Stack pronounced it Spieth. I think it's Spieth. Well, we're going with Jordan. 21 he, years old. 21. 
Got that. The big, the big fight's coming up May 2nd. Okay. Pacquiao Mayweather. Before that, stat, you know, where we're going to be at Thursday night. Day one, NFL draft. I hope you got your publications. It's on its way. It's on its way. It's $54. All I, to... I had to stretch <laughs> for it this year. But uh, I'll have this. We need that. Our lads. Our lads, NFL draft. Folks, if, if, if you enter the, the draft like me and my boy Stack here, that is a publication you absolutely need. They break down every player. You, you learn so much that in the first couple of weeks of the regular season in September, you'll win a lot of bets because you have knowledge that other people don't right. have. That's a great okay. publication. Like yeah. I said, Thursday NFL drafts coming they up. They always print you out. This right, is the and 49ers stuff. So uh, that's coming up. We got the baseball kicking off. Philly suck. Right. Man, they're pretty bad. Baseball started about April 5th, early yeah. April. And already the Phillies are. Yeah, they're bad. They're bad. Um, we just had the uh, Boston Marathon. Great. Uh, no U.S. people on. Nah. Always. But but just with, with that terrorist, that bombing a couple well, years ago. Second it's just, year. Second year. Years so after it's, that, yeah. it's just good that the runners, safe. Right. It was raining like that. Great. That's. That, I've been to Boston before. Great town. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Great, great town. Boston. Great town. Um, stack. Some of the NFL schedules were put out. You said that the. Uh, this evening, the NFL schedules were put out. We just looked at the Eagles real quick. Looks like a good schedule. They're going to start off with uh, who? Though? They're going to start with Atlanta Falcons at Atlanta, then okay. home against Dallas at the Jets. Isn't Vic playing for the Jets? I think he's still there. And then Washington. Okay. Overall, it looks like a pretty easy schedule. I didn't see anybody formidable. Well, Patriots are on there, but right. Yeah, they play the FC. Well, that's that's my that's you know my sports part of it. Um, no, that's my sports. That's my sports stack. Okay. I turn it over to you. Stack is our world news guy. I don't even watch the news. I mean, oh, before I go, um. Last, it was today's Tuesday, like I guess it was uh, a week ago, a little over a week ago that, that the tragic accident, my boy Joe, electrician, got uh, electrocuted on our During job. During that week in the Philadelphia yeah, area, we, there were other incidents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God Ben, uh, carpenter at a 39th and Chestnut, he fell off the building 80 feet and he died. So it was in uh, one week we had two construction guys, you guys don't know, I do construction. I'm blue collar. Stack hands. He's white collar to the T. This guy hands. I I don't even know women hands are that, that, that soft as his. It's unbelievable. But it was a rough week with construction. I just want to give a shout out to my EF family. Everybody was uh, wishing me well, you know, condolences. Yeah, I saw it early. When it and, and, and be safe out there, national, you know, be safe. So it was good to get away last week. You know, they asked us to work that weekend. I was like, turn no overtime way. down. Turn overtime down. Walked off the job that day. Oh, yeah, we walked off. Monday, <laughs> when that guy got hurt, we walked. Couldn't work. We couldn't work. We walked off. And the yeah. crew that he worked for, they've they, been back since. They came back a week later. Okay. So, yeah. That, that was, was beautiful. That, 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 yeah, that was something. But, Stack, we meant to cut you off. World news, buddy. All right, I'll be quick. Be First, quick. let's start here in the city of Philadelphia. We have a new mayoral race coming up. Ooh. So, uh, who's the mayor now? What's his name? Um, Nutter. Mayor Nutter uh, is going to be giving up his post. Who he backing? There's a bunch of people that are that are vying for mayor, but uh, there's a lot of construction, as, as Corey mentioned, in Philadelphia. A lot of gentrification. They're taking old areas, right. upscaling. Right. A lot of yuppies or millennials that want to live and work in the city. People that are retired. So they're buying condos. Mm -hmm. So there's a big construction boom in Philadelphia, which is good news for you and Absolutely. for the trades. Uh, moving outside of Philadelphia, uh, we've got U.S. warships outside Yemen. Yemen has been completely taken over by ISIS. Ramadi's been taken over. I mean, it's a total mess. We've got warships lined up. So take a tip from Stack. Within the next week or two, you're going to see some, some issues in and around Yemen. Uh, probably some more bombings and then some uh, artillery from the warships. Some uh, deep stuff. 
presidential election coming up, 2016, right now there's probably nine Republicans, only one Democrat, mm -hmm. Hillary Clinton. Wow. Okay? She got it. Bill Clinton's wife. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Uh, in the news of uh, continued issues around uh, purported police brutality, another mm -hmm. one, remember yeah. this name, Freddie Gray. Three broken vertebrae, severed spinal column. How did that happen? He got arrested on the street. They threw him in the truck. Next thing you know, a week later, he's dead. Jeez. Okay. So I don't know. I don't know what to say. I'm not going to lay any opinions, but it needs to stop. I mean, not just for the police, but the citizens, citizens of this country need to understand violence is a zero-sum game. Right. Okay, it is. We need civil order. Uh, lighten it up a little bit. Um, in Japan... They just tested a train, it's called the Maglev train, 603 uh, kilometers per hour, which equates to 374 miles per hour. What? Right now, that's going to be in, 20, in 2020. That was just a test. Wow. It's, it's magnetic levitation, about 10 centimeters off the ground. Right now, in Shanghai, China, they have one that goes 268 miles per hour. That's U.S. Just to give you in contrast, our fastest train is the Acela in U.S., and that's only 150 miles an hour. Most of the time, only running 75 miles an hour. Mm. So, in, back to uh, Japan, what normally would take five hours by car will only take 40 minutes. So, mm -hmm. my point in all this is STEM. Science, technology, engineering, and math. We need to catch up to the rest of the world or else we're going to be on some slow trains right. in the next 10, 15 years. We'll move to Japan. Okay, and my last bit of news I thought was newsworthy is uh, Bobby Christina. Uh, we're hearing oh, reports yeah. that she is awake, but then we're hearing reports that she's not awake. Uh, what a tragic Bobby, situation. Yeah, Bobby and Whitney. I'll never forget the day when, um, when Whitney died. That mm -hmm. night I went on uh, iTunes and downloaded a bunch of Whitney Houston's, right. which I still have, and... And the costs went up crazy, and I was able to get them pretty cheap. But a very tragic situation. We hope the uh, Bobby Brown, Whitney Houston family uh, hold them up in our prayers. Um, so, yeah, that's it for the uh, U.S. and kind of world news with a little Philly flavor. Uh, probably a good time to take a little break before we come back. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, that's the world news. From the stack with Nash show, we keep you. We keep you. We keep you we up keep to date. You, you may not so, know what's going on, <laughs> you, but we will let you know what's going on. So, like I say, folks, that we're gonna take a short break. When we come back, it's gonna be electric football, no Philly, in, right? Philly in the NFL, Neffle, uh Going to lighten this mood up a little bit. So we're gonna take a short break, folks. Thanks for joining the stack with Nash show. Peace. All right, folks, welcome back to the Stack with Nat show. Boom. Boom. Stack, we are back. We're going to talk electric football. You heard a lot of people's feelings a few weeks ago in Belfield, Maryland. We had a Capital City Clash. Uh, great, great turnout. You missed all them Cubans. We had Cuban. Pete kept brought... Cute, uh, Pete, aka Tall Guy, Tall Guy, Mark Cuban. What's his last name? Pete Griner? Griner, Griner, somebody like that. John Martin, of course he had cigars in Cuban. We had our boy, Mr. J Mr. Unity, Ray Panera with the bar. It was the bar. Ray. The bar. I make a Manhattan at the bar. Right, it was a great time. Darrell. Darrell made a spread. Ooh, yeah, I missed that. That was Friday what? night. Yeah, the tailgate. Darrell, we're gonna get you to stack with that fist pump. Cause you you did you did a great job. Vance Warren, newly uh inducted Hall of Famer, uh, did his thing running it, kept it smooth. Obviously, it was run very well. Very well. It was a great time. Uh the final four, one of the final four matchups. Jim Davis versus Keith Chalmers could actually happen in our Philly League. 
Because both of those teams, teams both of those teams play in the NFC. So there was a little Philly flavor. Little Philly flavor. Well, on the other side, we had Ken Allen, Great Lakes coach, against Mike Jones out of Ohio. All the games were great. I remember watching uh, Drew Sparks and Colin Johnson play. Great game there. Stack, you missed it. It was, it was, it was just a bunch of. Uh, it was first, a bunch of fun. First clash I've ever missed. And talking to Darrell, it's been 16 years. And unfortunately, I couldn't make it. Financial right. issues. I made a right. choice. <laughs> it did. It hurt right. me to the core. But I got updates from Corey. And I got oh, yeah. yeah we had it going. Between Frank and John. I felt like I was there. You streamed. Well, I know if I did go, it would have been a stretch. I wouldn't have enjoyed myself as much. I probably wouldn't have competed. But my hat's off to Darrell for running another great tournament. That's the third leg of the TOC, right? I think so. I think so. And uh, big shout out to Keith. Keith won the 3.4 and the 4.0. Wow. That was incredible. incredible. Uh, big Saudi, shout out to you, big guy. Uh, hopefully we'll see you this weekend coming up. We're going to keep the show moving, stack. We're going to get into nothing. What's the nothing? People might say, what's nothing? What's nothing? Is that NFL? Folks, Philly, we got two leagues. Set two. We got a 32. We got a 32 team league. We had so many people waiting to get in. We started another league. Same rules, same everything. Uh, ten coaches, eight games. A little uh, not as stressful, less of a commitment set. But uh, that league is going. This is our second year doing same it. Same rule set. Same rule set. Everything. Equally as competitive. Equally as competitive. You guys want to win and too. Nepal is an alliteration of our league, NEFL. Right. If you were to say that, you just pronounce it. Right. Nephil would be the word. Would that's be it. the word. And that's it. how we came, came up. up with the other league. Absolutely. The Nephil League is uh, going strong. Young Nafis Robinson is on fire. He has a uh, current son. Current son. He has a loss. He defeated the defending champ was Will Travers. He played him twice already. And Will had to score a point on him, okay? Beat him up at the class. 21 nothing and 28 nothing at the class. Right. So Nafis is in, I'm gonna say he's in. He's in one of the uh conference championships. Two conference. Two conferences. George Steinman conferences. Yeah, yeah. George Spock. Shout out to our boy George Diamond, <laughs> our buzzball brother. He's sponsoring both conferences. Now, Feast looks like he's going to be one of the teams representing. He's waiting for his opponent. And then Karim the other, looks like he's trying to get some games. Right. And then the other conference, we got uh, Karim, Jamani, and Chris Stringer going to battle it out to see what you need teams. to get up here to fill you. Well, I, I think they're coming. And like I said, the Nephil, you guys, regular season ends May 23rd on a Saturday. May 24th on a Sunday is the conference championships and the Super Bowl. So a little bit before the NEFL. The week that we're off. Right. The week, the, the week that the NEFL season ends, we host the Nephil playoffs and Super Bowl. And then that following week, the NEFL. Going to do a with them too? Nah, I don't think they want it, nah. Ain't uh, no Pro Bowl. Um, they just had the conference championships and the Super Bowl. There's only gonna be like the four teams. Folks, that's Where the Nephil. again? Nephil is May 23rd ends the regular season. May 24th is the conference championships and the Super Bowl. Okay. All, All right, right, folks. I'm gonna keep it rolling. We're going into the NFL. Week 11 was just completed here at Daly's Pub. Saturday and Sunday, we had, I think, about 11 games. I'm going to quickly go through the scores. It's a pretty gonna, good slate. And I'm going to turn it over to my man, Smokestack. Okay, I'm just going to ramble off some scores. I'll give you the name of the coaches. Cleveland versus Kansas City. That's Tom versus Harold. Tom with the win, 14-7. Tom came down from Maryland. He played two games. His second, he did the King two-step. Played father and son. He beat the dad, but came up short against the son. He was up 14-0 on Kenny. Kenny comes back, scores 21 unanswered. Chargers over the Browns. Keep it moving. Excuse me. My 49ers was in action against Ephraim, uh, Ephraim Daniels. Ephraim Stung. The Green Hornet. 
Stunk Spider-Man. I'm Spider-Man. 20 to 14. Last play, I was at the three-yard line, got sacked, uh, game ended. Had Seattle over St. Louis Rams, 28 to 6. That's Jamie over David L. We had a good game. Pittsburgh, Ernie Grice. Ernie, happy birthday, big guy. Today is his birthday. 48 years young. He don't look a day no, over 47. Looks good. It's like, no. <laughs> no, he, he looks, looks good. good. No. One smooth you brother right there. His hands. He could Ernie could have been a boxer. His hands are huge. No, no. Ernie beat Cliff Gibbs. Steelers. Who? Cliff Gibbs. Wasn't he in the lollipop queue? He was. He's out. I had you well, you're gonna have to kick that off. Keep him. 21-14, Steelers over the Redskins. Mm. Tough loss. All Cl Saturday? Cliff is re reeling. I'm just running them all. Mm -hmm. Dallas, Al Harvey was in the building. Played Tampa Bay, that's Greg King. Al won. 21-14. Greg played him tough. He did. Had Seattle, Jamie again, Jamie Harris, over Hugh Moore. 20-9, Cardinals. Seattle over the Cardinals. 20-9. 20 to 9. Kind of big matchup. Kind of two teams vying for well, one team is definitely in the playoffs. The Colts, that's our defending two time champ. Creasy, he defeated Kern, who was up and coming, trying to make some noise. 22 to 12. Bills go down. Got found out, didn't he? Yeah, a little bit. Then we have our man Stack on the stage. <laughs> two game Stack had 42 to 14 over Steve Emerson. Vikings over the Lions. Then we had, a, wasn't a marquee matchup, but anytime you get stacked on it, you don't know what can happen. We Ustreamed it. Go to our Ustream channel, NAFO or Philly in the NFL, you can watch that game in its entirety. It was an instant classic. 21 to 20. You may not want to have wife and family around. No. Some of the language got a little salty. It got bad. But it, uh, great game. Uh, no, one more game was played over the weekend. Carolina, Ed Roche pulled Ooh. a major upset. Edward Roche from Tom's River defeated Al Harvey and the Cowboys, who is a two-time defending, uh, a two-time Super Bowl champion of the NFL. Ed Roche beat uh, Al seven to nothing. That's miss Ed Roche Stern. I understand. <laughs> Holster. Holster. So, folks, that was our scores from the uh, week that was, week 11. Stack, I'm going to turn it over to my man Smokestack. He's got some records and stuff he's got to go over. Yeah, I'm Stack, just gonna, take over. I'm just going to give you a I'm quick done. overview of the standings, and then we're going to have a conversation, Corey and I, offline. Sure, sure, sure. we're not going to yeah. agree on everything. I'm just going to give you the leaders in each division, starting sure. with the NFC East. Right now, uh, Jim Davis Eagles are eleven and one. Uh, he still has three games. The Giants are at six and He's two. Not eleven and one. Yeah, that's the wrong record. He's lost. He lost to Joe Greco and he lost to Cliff. He's got two losses. Eleven and two. Two. He's got three games left. Three games left. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I thought I pulled that off the NFL. The Giants are at six and two, followed by Dallas at six and three. Washington is at six and six. Has taken a recent fall. Giants and Dallas still have eight and seven games left, respectively. Over in the north, uh, Green Bay is ahead of that division right now at six and five, followed by Chicago at four and six. Chicago still has six games. Green Bay has five, so it's going to be interesting there for supremacy of the north. Somebody has to win every division that we talk about. Right, okay? absolutely. Over in the south, Young Ephraim is up. Head of the South at nine and three. Interestingly, Tampa Bay, based on records alone, is three and five. Atlanta's behind them at two and five. In the West, right now, as we speak, Seattle is at twelve and run one. San Fran's at nine and three. San Fran has four games. Seattle has three games. Right. It's going to be very interesting. Either way, uh, no one's going to get left at the altar. One of those two teams is going to be the NFC wild card and can make. A difference in the wild card format of the NFL. Switching over to the AFC, uh, right now the Jets are alone in the top of the AFC East at 11 mm -hmm. and 5, followed by Buffalo at 8 and 4. Buffalo still has four games, needs to win out and and hope for some 
things good to happen to possibly get an AFC wild card. I think he's in. Over in the north, uh, Baltimore situation still uncertain at six and two. Pittsburgh is climbing back at four and five. Cincinnati's at three and five. Cleveland's at two and six. Mm -hmm. All of those teams have more than seven games to play to finish the season. Over in the uh, AFC South, Indianapolis is alone and ahead of that division at 10 and one, followed by Jacksonville at seven and two. Tennessee's at four and four. Uh, they still have quite a few games to play, eight games in fact. Over in the West, that Corey just talked about the West, mm -hmm. San Diego is ahead of that at seven and four. They still have five games. Denver, who we hope to see very soon, is at this six week? and four. He has six games to play. So the AFC West supremacy is still an open question. A lot of moving parts here. Uh, Kansas City's at three and six, really not a factor. So that's kind of a right. two-minute drill going through the standings. If you have any, you want to take a deeper dive, you can go to the NEFL website, Listen, right. look at both the standings, the remaining schedules, the scores. Well, you got them stacked, not to cut you off, but you got Denver. Let's just write, if we end it down, Denver looking like a wild card. You got Buffalo fighting for a wild card. And you have even the Tennessee Titans, who, who have 4-4, four four, or Jacksonville, I'm sorry. Jacksonville. Almost so those given. those three those three teams right there are really like it's three teams fighting for that. And you have to Buffalo, Jacksonville, and Denver control their own destiny. Yes. Slash San Diego. Okay. If any of them take a fall, uh, it's going to open a door to right. one of the other three other teams, teams right. that I just mentioned getting the playoffs. Um, over in the East. A dog fight going on there. <laughs> Initially, back it up two or three weeks, Washington at one point was oh they was they had six and two, six and one coming out of Washington. If our, if our producer for you that he could pull that up, Jim Davis, we had the hope on our show. He put him in the playoffs. That's right. Put that up, Jim. What do you got to say about that? Okay. Put that up. Where's your boy? Okay. Uh, now over in the north. Andrew's playing a lot of golf these days. We've had some beautiful weather. Yes. He's at six and five. Keith Chicago makes his way up. Right here. behind him. They they need they played their games already though. Yeah. So I'm but, gonna be but, able but, to but, play but, spoiler gifts. Yeah, you can. Andrew still has Joe Greco who's beat number four. And he has Lomax who's he, who who, who he's Eiffel. never played. And Eiffel. He's got Eiffel too? Yeah, no, he played Eiffel. No, right no. Green Bay has No, he he beat Eiffel. Alright, right, right, you're right. Green Bay has Lomax, he's got the Lorenzo, Giant. he's got Joe Greco, he's got the Vikes, and he's got Denver. Chicago has, and here's a question for you, Jacksonville. Will that game get played? I think it will. Okay. Chicago has the Vikes, second game. They've played once. Two against Detroit, one against suddenly resurgent Carolina. Okay. <laughs> and then lastly against Calvin Lomax, Coach Lomax of the Titans. Mm -hmm. Next question, will that game get played? Which one? Say it again. Tennis, no. Tennessee Titans versus Chicago Bears. Yeah. In Maryland. It'll get, It'll get played. Those guys won't No coin flip. No. Because they know they need to play that game. Coin flips don't get you in the playoffs. I want to see film. <laughs> film. Okay. Film it. I don't know. I you the other night you texted me. We're we're going offline here. This is still part of it. You you told me that you believe that the Giants. You were leaning with the Giants in the NFC East for right. some reason. Over Dallas, over, over the, the, the Dallas. Dallas. Why why is that? I just want to know. Is there some? Well, Dallas just took a loss to the Panthers just now. He still got a game against uh, Giants. He got Atlanta. Game. He's got a game against the Eagles. He does. And he's played... He's got to play Pittsburgh and New Orleans. Right. He's got to play the Giants already, and he lost. So Joe has a little bit of an advantage. No, I'm over, sorry. I was reading. Over, 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 over. He lost to Carolina. He still had... Dallas has Cincinnati, Green Bay. No. Dallas beat Cincinnati already. Oh, that beat, just, just happened. Yeah, he beat him. But he lost to Carolina, beat Cincinnati. He still has Green Bay, Washington, New Orleans, and Atlanta. He's got the Giants. 
Al still has to play the Giants once. They played one time already, and Al beat them. So that's why I'm giving advantage to the Giants. So you had it wrong. So it's cool. That's why I'm giving a slight advantage to Joe Greco. Joe Greco sent out an email today that he's coming down. That's right. He's going to play Cincinnati. Um, right. If you're watching right now, before hopefully we get this show uploaded, um, big tournament going to be here this weekend, Stack. Oh, my goodness. Uh, we're going to be downstairs in a new area of the Daily's Pub. So uh, just be aware of that. Try to get here a little early. Uh, you can. 10, 10.30. 10.30 is fine. That's and the parking fine. is going to be at a premium. Well, the lot. The lot probably might, the, the pool guys might be this out of the lot. So it's no problem. It's, I ain't even worried about that parking. Parking is, I'm just saying that we're going to be in a different area. We won't be upstairs. When you come in the pub, we'll just go right to the back. That little off room where the, uh, the banquet hall is at. So, uh, stack, that's pretty much everything for me. You have anything left, big guy? What's your message to these folks that need to get their games in? Oh, yeah, gotta get them in. Gotta get them in. You do not want to be, uh, coin flip. Because coin flip don't, don't do nothing. It just it won't help you. Won't help you get in the playoffs. You gotta play to get in the playoffs. Games. The games play carry more weight than, than coin flips and forfeits. You're hiding in the foxhole in your dead bodies. Yeah, yeah. Pulling bodies oh, yeah. Hoping that the war be over and he yeah. would crawl out from under that. It's National is there every week. He knows who's been ducking. <laughs> he knows who's been naughty, who's been nice. We know. Folks, thanks for joining us. This is the Stack with Nat show. Keep watching. Check us out on the league on Ustream. YouTube, we are on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Stack with that. The revolution will be televised. <laughs> <laughs> we out, Stack. Boom. Right. For you to hate, take us out of here. Peace. Holla at me.